phones um, to see that the tag are. Instead of, we can't use bibs at the camp, so just whoever has the yellow phone is the tagger. Alright, so should you be a tagger as well? Yeah. So when you're caught, what you do, when you lay down your back, tuck your knees into your chest, put your hands up. This game is called Turtle Shells. Okay, so when you're caught, you lie down, hands up here. You lie down like a turtle on its back. Roshi can't move. The only way she can move is if one of you come along and help her, like this. So you squat down and just roll her over like that. Roshi up you get. Roshi runs away. And you try and tag somebody. Okay? Let's go. We're running. Let's move. Let's move. <laughs> So look up, try and help somebody. <laughs>
Everybody, we're gonna have one more chase the game. Everyone got their hurlies? You leave the phone going to the side back. Ha <laughs> ha! 
plaats.
capable of competition. Okay, we've got to be progressing our activity as well. Yeah, you just dribble the ball towards me. Okay. Right. Your job is to dribble your ball and try to hit away someone else by keeping your ball. If your ball is hit away, you can get it. don't want to see is let's just say this is the cone here see five children lined up behind the blue cone and the yellow cone and this, this stuff here okay and around again okay what's wrong with it what yeah exactly right these children are not here to play ball not to stand around the line if they are in the line what are they doing let's say the line of five kids there what are they doing Messing, going grass each other, hitting each other, looking at the cars, looking at the man cutting the grass. They're not playing hurling or football. Okay? They're not here to waste the ball, they're here to be on the ball. So get them on the ball as much as possible. Okay? Remember, you're coaching the most unpredictable, fast game in the world here. It doesn't matter if they're 6 or 16 or 26. So we have to coach, coach the sport the right way. Get them on the ball as much as possible. I've never seen a hurling match played in a straight line. Okay, so we have to make it a little bit, a little bit chaotic, just like that game there was. But were we on the ball all the time? Yeah. Okay. We we'll move along. Let's do some pickups. We we'll do jab lift. Every skill in hurling and football has to step forward. So the pickups is only jab lift. One foot side ball or near ball. Hurling flat. Fingers tickling the grass. Keep it up. Okay, up again. This side. Go. Again. Foot to side ball. Hurling flat, tickling the grass. Scoop. Alright, let's practice that.
lift, or row lift, sorry, all the way to start teaching this. Good evening, Scott, this is better job. Everyone underneath, like this. show your senior hurdles this so you do this with your under sixes and your under sevens. Okay, everyone stand up try it now so roll and lift change direction Give you an order then. White, blue, white, red. Why not just go go to any color you want, white? Quickly, quickly. Go 
We're both close to striking. Christopher, will you stand up for me, please, just for the for the demonstration? So we're striking on the ground again. Look, step forward. I want you to bend your knees a little bit like you're sitting into a chair. Look at your eyes. Strike the ball.
carriage through the gate, you just fall down to the opposite. Okay, it's full rules. Alright, so this is 11 and 12 year olds. You can pick it up, strike it, half pass it, pull up, whatever you want. Okay, you all just pull the rules. Alright, so be careful, no hands. Game on! back in their clubs if they are a week or two. So this is their this is their first camp. Okay. It's important that you're really enthusiastic and do your even if even if you're having a bad day yourself, we all have to and you pretend you're having the, the best day of your life. You have to be enthusiastic for them. And by week four or week five, okay, when you're getting tired and you will, okay, they're long days, it's tough looking at the kids all day. It could be that kid's first Catch. Oh. Catch. 
Exactly. If you look up and find the ball, then you have to change direction. Okay. And also, if you have a group of 11, you might have only 5 or 6 footballs. Okay. Not everyone can have the football, so it's a good idea to go get a different ball every time so the kids are moving around and you get more touches to the ball. Okay. Just a simple little, uh, little um, idea for you. Okay. We go pick up. So, remember, every, every scale, do a step forward, so put one foot beside the ball, spread your fingers, tickle the grass, scoop it up, and then the part then I want you to take four steps, stick, and get a new ball every time. Go. your nose
Yeah. <laughs> That's fine, Brian. You don't have to ask for permission. <laughs>